Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to show you all the different ways how you can beat a zone defense. Hello everyone, so if you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills and skills, so if you like that stuff hit the like button and subscribe, but anyways today I'm going to show you a really great way, actually a few different great ways that you can beat a zone defense. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these different ways of beating different types of zone defenses. Okay, so here we are down on the clipboard. Right now I have the 2-3 zone defense up on the board. And basically, we're going to be having a trap up top, which will then bring the bottom three players up a bit higher. So, what player five in the middle has to do is sort of sit back and watch any baseline cuts, because that is one way that you can beat a zone defense. However, one of the first ways that you can beat a zone defense is called driving and dishing. That means that one of your players is going to go and drive towards the rim, which will collapse that zone defense. So player four would need to come down, and he's going to be watching back door. so you probably most likely won't have a backdoor cut from the opposite side. However, you may have another cutting player from here. You may have a cutting player along the baseline on the same side that you're driving on, or you may have an open three-point shot because if you're driving at a zone that already has a player in that zone, that defender is still going to be dropping down to cut you off. So what this is going to look like is these players are cutting down here, you're driving, and all you need to do is a dish out to a three or a dish to a baseline or a dish to a cutting player here, and you're going to have opportunities to score really easily. This also works against a 3-2 zone defense as well. Let's say you drive to this side, for example. If player 4 goes and cuts off that player who's driving towards the basket, you may have a player on this side who is cutting baseline, and that's going to be another drive and dish opportunity. Player 2 red might be popping down as well, which would leave player 5 open for a 3 out there as well. So driving and dishing is one of the ways to beat a zone defense. Another way you can beat a zone defense is if you stack the side. So let's say player 1 passes over to player 2. Player 1 goes down to the side. Now obviously we're in a triangle formation, but let's say we want to do an overload defense. Well, most likely what you're going to have is player 4 popping up top. And if he's not getting guarded by this player whose zone is over here, which he most likely won't be, you can do what's called a high-low pass. So out of a stack offense, which means four players on that one side, one player on the weak side, he could be up here, he could be up over here, there's a few different options there. However, you're going to get a high-low pass. That's going to bring player five up, which is going to allow player five blue to be open in that low post. Even if player four red comes down to play defense, he still has an open lane in front of him he could be boxing out or keeping behind him player four and allowing still allowing player five blue to score really easily that's why the stack offense is so deadly against his own defense because generally speaking on one side you're only going to have three let's even if three red comes over to half court right there still you you still have more players who have options in this wing or even in this post. The reason is, let's say player 4 did come down to guard player 5, player 1 is now open for a 3 point shot. So there's many many different ways to score against the zone defense. Another way of playing against a zone defense is by spreading out the zone. By spreading out a zone really far, you're really opening up passing lanes, driving lanes, and many different ways of scoring. So by opening up, so let's say we have a five out, which would really spread the zone open wide. You're gonna have player four and five and three be sort of like this. One and two is gonna trap up top. Now let's say you just ran a simple uh, pass and pass and cut play. Player one's gonna pass the player three and he's gonna to cut towards the rim. That's gonna bring player two down and player 5 is going to come across so that now player 1 is now getting cut off. That now has player 3 still guarding player 3 blue, however with player 5 coming up, 
That's going to allow a backdoor cut by player five or a cut by player four, or sorry, a backdoor cut by five or a cut by four, so that now the baseline is wide open. And this happens against the three-two zone defense as well. However, when player two fills player's one spot, player five fills two spot, and two, one player, player one goes out, we now have a player two open so that now you still have a possibility of having player five open and a swing around because player four has to guard five right away. Now you may have a cut open by player one or just player one being open for a three-point shot. So by running a pass and cut offense and then swinging the ball, that is another way of beating a zone defense. The third way of beating it, or see, the fourth way of beating it, sorry, is passing or by swinging the ball from one side of the court to the other. Because that will now get the defense, as we see right here, stacked on one side. And you're going to have the whole other side open for, well, open three-point shots, open drives, that kind of thing. That's why you want to do some side-to-side -side passing plays, like something like the five-out pass and screen or pass and cut because that is very deadly against a zone defense. Anyways, I hope that these strategies work for you and your team. If they do, let us know in the comments below. If you have anything to add, again, leave them in the comments below. If you have any strategies yourself, how to beat a zone defense. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video because, well, I post daily. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now, I hope that makes sense. So make sure that your players know when you say down and back, that's going to be a weave. And if you just say down, that's going to be just meaning that it's a fast break. You're going down and you're trying to score as fast as possible. Now, you could have a secondary coach standing at the rim to be able to set up some defense so that now there is a layup that is a little bit contested. You could do that as well, but that's up to you as a coach. Anyways, I hope that these drills help you and your team. If they do, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe, or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.